All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne23 here, and today we're going to be checking out the map Credence by Zaddy Hammer. Now, this map, as you could tell, has some, uh, some bad guys, uh, and it has some AI running around on here. This is a BTB map, though, so that is definitely really interesting and is one of the first, I would guess, that, you know, at least that I have featured here, um, that is a BTB map that actually has AI on it. Uh, so, you know, I have, normally I always do all this with, um, you know, all my HUD turned off and everything so you can see all the uh, details. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to shoot some of these guys uh, as we're moving around. But as you can tell just from the start, look at the outside area. How he built these mountains and everything all in the distance. I love it so much. I love whenever people put a lot of detail and everything in their background aesthetics because to me that matters so much if you don't put in aesthetics into your background you know your map could look beautiful but just this part just wouldn't it, like it wouldn't look right you know it would be like oh it doesn't look cool that's one thing that everyone loves seeing in you know any map off of any developer is the skybox the skybox is something that people always mention and zaddy has really like done so much here i love all the floating islands look at that bridge with the broken apart and it floating there connecting over to this one over here there's mountains on top of islands over there there's also closer islands that have like this weird magical aura that's around which is really neat um as well so this right here i wonder if this is a teleporter yes it is a teleporter i was wondering that normally they you know people do that type of stuff i love the broken spots right there okay we will come back and check out the teleporter stuff in a little bit but first let's come in here and check out all of this look at all the broken pieces i love the algae and everything the the overgrown and the wet uh look to all this type of stuff look at this right here see this is one reason why i love having uh placeable water now is because now we can have like puddles like this it looks so much better and just the overall fx i saw like water dripping in places you know just ever so slightly which that's awesome it just you know has a slight drizzle slight drizzle uh, you know as you're walking around here so we got a grapple right there we got a gun goose right here it's a nice choice to use the gun goose so that way people have just some way of defending themselves and while I was flying around getting b-roll for the beginning uh, one thing I definitely noticed was the great terrain work uh, the terrain work in this one is fantastic uh, and you'll see that as I you know walk around and stuff but yeah it's it's overall it's just really really good terrain work here and overall, just this map itself, it looks like a blast to be able to play on. We got a sniper here, and this I'm sure, sure this is a symmetrical thing, so there will be a sniper over on the other side as well. And look at this uh, work that they did here. The, I, I saw this a few places around, and some of them have water inside of it, which looks really cool. And I just love the design work. That's just some detail that you add to your map that it really kind of gets overlooked while you're playing. But it just adds to the overall map. It could have just made this one side, you know, one giant block. But you break up the uniformity of everything, so it changes and it's different. That's why you, you know, do something like this with the walls. You add these that little box square there, uh, with the different texture in the center and stuff like that, because it breaks up, you know, having a wall just straight uniform. Uh, so this is fantastic. I love the fire. It adds a little bit of color to your map. Uh, you know, some places that really like draw your eye to this point over here. They're having that fire there, which is awesome as well. We'll drive around with the Warthog to test the, um, to test everything out. Uh, let's go ahead and get, uh, oh my gosh, can I not grab it? Oh man, I can't grab it right now. <laughs> so I don't even know what's going on. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, I could have turned off settings and so, <laughs> um, cause I, I had to make sure I was deathless and stuff on here cause I wasn't going to go up against a wraith and everything and they constantly die while I'm trying to show off this map. Uh, so I could have turned off AI, but I kind of wanted to show the AI on here. Okay. This is tough. This is tough. There we go. Got him. Uh, but yeah, look at all this. I love having like, oh, there's the, there's the, um, island that has that weird aura, that magical aura around, which is great. Hey, 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 calm down there, sir. Do I not have any ammo? Oh my goodness. Okay, there, I picked up that one. That works. 
Like, I tried... There we go. Disintegrate him. There, there we are. We're taking these, these guys out. Uh, which I turned down their difficulty also to just marine difficulty. I normally play them on ODST, but... I was just like, well, I guess we could go ahead and just go marine difficulty and make it a little bit easier. I don't know why I can't pick up this thing. You know? This, uh, this weapon here. That's really weird. Um... I, I, we need to double check that in normal. Uh, Zaddy, if you're looking at that, maybe... It may be something with my settings. So it may be all me. Uh, but just in case it's not, um, you may want to double check that to make sure that one works. <laughs> Look at him. There we go. I'm in! I love that he gets out whenever you get in the, <laughs> in the seat there. He's like, oh no, he's in my vehicle. Okay, so yeah, if you're looking at all the aesthetics, just everything looks great. I love the design of all the stuff. This is a pretty cool looking base as well. Um, so, oh, oh goodness, oh goodness, here. Oh, oh, I thought I had, I thought I had the other type up. Here, there we go, hit him out, hit him, hit him, hit him. There we go, we took him out, well done, well done me, well done me. Let me make sure I can pick up this one. Yeah, I guess maybe that one down there was a little bit, uh, like messed up or something. Um, that might, that may be what it is. So double check that, uh, that spawn over there, that weapon spawn. Um, because it may be too far into the wall or it may be a setting that I had, who knows. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and just keep moving. Ooh, let's go ahead and get this guy right here. Um, I know someone mentioned they don't like the, the wobble of my weapon charm. Tough luck! It's my weapon charm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, I love overall just the waterfalls here, over the aesthetics and everything. Looks really great. Uh, let's go ahead and go off this and see where it goes. Oh no, there's hunters here. Oh no. <laughs> don't, this is what I was talking about right here with the water around where it is. And, uh, there's other stuff. What do we have here? Okay, we have... Oh goodness, oh goodness, get away from him. Get away, get away, get away. I was trying to throw a grenade and it didn't work. Don't worry about it. But I love the fact that there is, you know, AI on this map. So it definitely makes it a lot more like fun and ridiculous to be able to play, you know, BTB on. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Take him out, get electrocuted, get electrocuted. Ha! Ah! I have, I'm indestructible. Oh, there's, are you kidding me? There's an, a, what is it called? Uh, Juno Resolution or something? There we go, take it out! Okay. There we go. Um, I don't know, what am I doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yes! You are gonna get destroyed! Oh, I'm out. I'm out. There we go. There we go. Take him out! Okay. Okay, okay. We can take out this big guy. Let's do this. Dang it! There! Yes! We took him out! Big explosion. Awesome. Look at us go. We took him out. Okay, I'm getting distracted. This is what happens whenever there's, you know, other stuff in. <laughs> but hey, you know, we're, we're fighting a little bit too here. We're fighting a little bit too. But overall, just this map looks fantastic. I, I, I know, like, having AI can be a little bit crazy on a map, like, just because of the fact that then you have to deal with AI while you're playing BTB, but to me, that'll be a lot more fun. Like, you're over there actually, you know, fighting and everything, and, you know, you have AI. Like, it's not just, you know, you, like, one team versus another. You have AI and stuff that you got to deal with also. Which makes it to me a lot more fun to be able to play on. So, okay, so that's where the teleporter goes to. That's in the front there. Oh man, he's he's here and he. Oh no, he pushed me down. <laughs> yeah, take that, hammer. 
Yes, that's right, hammer to death. But look at this. I love the lights right here up here. And it, again, it's like what I said, you change up colors. This is an orangish color here. Changes it up from the browns and the greens uh, that are on the map itself. So yeah, that looks really good. Uh, let's come over here. It, it looks like we got more AI being spawned in now. Uh, all right, look at that. And boom, there we go. Oh, don't be throwing grunts at me. Oh, that's not very nice. They're throwing grunts. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now's our time to go ahead and grab a vehicle. Uh, let's try to get out of here before they uh, completely destroy us. Um, but I just want to test the vehicle. This vehicle route is a very fast route, which I love. It, it, we, you need routes that are very quick and you can, you know, get in and out of places very fast, which is awesome. Look at this. Yeah, you just can circle and it is buttery smooth. Like this, this vehicle route is so smooth here. Now I'm going to try uh, going a little bit different of a way here. Let's go up and go up here and see what we feel about this. Oh, that's a wraith. Okay, let's not go that way. Okay, let's go to the inside now. Oh, we got to jump here. Oh, yes. Okay, you got to turn a little bit to the left there for that jump. And look at this. You got completely smooth routes here, which this is fantastic. Oh, oh man, we got more... We got more uh, baddies coming in. Where? Where? Oh, there it is right there. They're coming to drop off more. I must have killed too many of them. I must have killed too many of them. And if you look at this, there's also this little pathway that comes right there along the ledge and goes to the inside, which is great as well. Uh, there's just a lot of different pathways, and this is a beautiful map. This is one that I would also love to be able to see in matchmaking. Um, just because this seems like a very fun map to play on especially of course you have to make sure you balance out all the AI and uh, you know I haven't played on this with actual multiplayer so I haven't been able to test how balanced it is with AI uh, but yeah like you know so far just playing this and stuff it's a lot of fun and it seems like it'll have really great vehicle routes as well greetings dude not cool all right fine you want to take some of that? Take that. Oh, dang. Is it? Ah, not cool. Not cool. Not cool. But yeah, so far, this is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. We're, 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 this isn't this isn't good. <laughs> you know, thank goodness I have uh, Deathless on right now or else this would have been real bad. But just over the aesthetics of this and overall, just everything just looks so good. Look, we got, you know. Uh, we can we can boot people off with this. That's fantastic. Overall, this is just a really great map, and I, I would love to be able to see this, you know, and of course play on this with a full lobby and with the AI in here, making it a lot more difficult. Uh, definitely, I don't know if the AI on here counts towards points. I know there's ways to do that. I know Captain Punch uh, has a thing with AI where it actually adds up points and everything. Um, but that would be pretty interesting too on this like, you know, it counts towards your kills if you kill the AI Like it counts towards your points or there's some other thing Like what if you have AI and you can access certain weapons if you kill enough AI or something? Uh, that would be a pretty neat uh, thing that someone could put in on their map as well. Hey, hey All right, we're gonna punch and punch. Yeah, that's right. I'm deathless. You can't handle this uh, <laughs> Uh, but that will be it everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. This was such a really like this was such a cool map I really enjoyed this and I love the AI aspect of it uh, Definitely adds you know to a little bit more difficulty uh, To the map itself. It's not just like oh anyone can just do whatever uh, You got to be very careful um, You know running around and fighting especially whenever AI can come in and destroy your entire team uh, so again, thank you all everyone for coming out. Appreciate it. Uh, subscribe for more Halo Infinite. Calm down, Wraith. Uh, subscribe for, for, for more Halo Infinite uh, custom maps. Uh, I try to come out with these at least every day to every other day. It depends, of course, if I'm going to be doing a scripting tutorial or any other tutorial or just something like that. Uh, but I do try to come out with these often. Uh, so thank you all everyone for coming out. Appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. And remember... Forge a new halo.